Hi, this is Jason at Navarrock Marine Electronics in Rockland, Maine. Many of the fishing customers want to use time zero with the Loran coordinates. Uh, what's Loran? Well, during the Cold War, it was a great way for the military and fishermen alike to uh, know their position. Uh, there's a different areas around the country. Um, they have numbers, so we have to pick the area. And then there are slave stations, so with a uh, master station and two slave stations, we can uh, triangulate the location of the boat or whatever military thing is used in Lorraine at the time. Uh, this was very handy during the Vietnam War. It's been very handy for fishermen ever since. So there are generations of fishermen that have used Lorraine uh, for their positioning system. Um, sometime 10 or 15 years ago, I'm not exactly sure when, it was discontinued. Um, so anytime we're using Loran now, it's all make-believe. Uh, there are ways to convert between um, lat lawn, which is what we use now, latitude and longitude, and Loran, which we call TDs. Um, uh, it's based on the time between these master and slave stations and our boat. So it's all figured out in microseconds. Basically, in time zero, we have to select the area that we're going to use, which part of the country, which part of the world, and then the slave stations, and then, the, then there's an offset. Uh, the signal propagates differently in different places, so there's an offset. If you don't put the offset in, uh, then things won't line up exactly right. Uh, one of the ways we can look at the offset is to look at our other electronics, whether it's an old GP32 like this or, or another chart plotter. Uh, we can go into the menu of this, uh, click on, not really click, but we can go into the menu and go to TD Setup, press enter, and then we can see the Lurian C settings on there. We're using the area 9960 with a negative 1.5 offset and a negative 3.5 offset. Now we'll look at one of our other plotters over here. Now we've got this Hondex here uh, on the screen and that's 9960 just like on the GP32, uh, 11 and 25 for the slave stations, negative 1.5, negative 3.5 uh, for the correction. That's the offset. That's measured in microseconds, which is uh, make believe because we're not actually measuring time from the uh, Loran stations because they don't exist anymore. But we've got to get the offsets right to, in order to. Um, have accurate Lorian uh, positions on the screen. One of the th uh, in time zero, we can go to options, units on the left here, uh, Lorian C station and GRI. So we've got 9960, just like we had in the plotter and in the GB32. I happen to know that Caribou Mains, the first slave with a correction of negative 1.5. The second slave is Nantucket with a correction of negative 3.5. Uh, the stations and slaves are what we use in this area. If you're somewhere else in the country, it's going to be different. You'll just have to refer to the old equipment that's also used on your boat to determine what to use for those settings. If you don't have any other equipment using Loran, um, ask another another boater that uses the Loran settings to see what they use. Basically, you want this to match because if they give you Loran coordinates, um, they won't match your Loran coordinates unless you have the same settings in here for these things. All right, now that we've set the settings for Loran in time zero, we can turn the grid on so we can see the Loran lines. I can watch my mouse as I do that.
in the chart view right here. Every workspace, this is set differently. Uh, so we, we can have a different workspace with or without these grids. we go to grid, and we're in C. There we go. So now we've got a diagonal grid that you can see going this way and that way. Sometimes fishermen use Loran coordinates because they want their gear lined up in this diagonal grid like this. Uh, if, if everybody sets their gear and fishes along these same lines, there'll be less tangles than if people used every which direction. So that's one of the uses for Loran Sea and fishing. Uh, Latlon, of course, uses fairly straight uh, north and east-west. And Loran uses their diagonals. These lines would be a distance measured in microseconds from the former transmitter site. And these would be a distance, this would be you know, so many microseconds from the transmitter site up that way, for example. Uh, maybe this is the a line of 12,666 microseconds from uh, one transmitter site, for example. That's how that works. If we go to a different view, um, we do not have those lines. We have to turn those on. So these lines are for each workspace. Maybe you don't want them on every workspace. Thanks for tuning in and seeing how we turned on uh, Loran coordinates and Time Zero Professional and how to use them. We'll have other useful videos on this same channel here, so see what else we've got on this channel and subscribe to uh, see more as we make them. Thank you.